1964, Tokyo hosted the Olympics. Many large-scale projects were undertaken in conjunction with this milestone event. The development of a new rail system was one of the dreams shared by the nation. It was also necessary. In the booming economy, people were flooding into the cities and overloading the transportation infrastructure. In those days, the Tokyo-Osaka route was being served by a special express train called Kodama. The trip took six and a half hours. But the Kodama couldn't keep up with demand. The Shinkansen was proposed as a way to meet heavy demand and to give wings to Japanese dreams. Development began on a new high-speed railway that would link Tokyo and Osaka in just three hours. At the time, the world's fastest train was the French Mistral, which had a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour. Japanese engineers set their sights on a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. But to achieve that goal, various hurdles would have to be overcome. The design of the Shinkansen train body was entrusted to Tada Naomiki, an engineer who had been involved in the design of fighter planes during the war. What shape would enable the train to run fastest? During the war, Mickey had been entrusted with the design of planes used for kamikaze missions. These planes had no landing gear, and they had streamlined noses to enable them to smash into enemy ships even faster. Again and again, the special planes designed by Mickey plunged from the skies into the heat of battle and were lost. I felt terrible for the young men who died. It was hard to bear. Mickey wanted to put his engineering talents to work for a peaceful purpose. But how? Then the idea came to him. Use the streamlined shape of those fighter planes for the Shinkansen to cut wind resistance and boost the train's speed. If we want a beautiful airflow, we must give it a beautiful shape. That was Mickey's guiding philosophy as he crafted one clay model after another. There was another major hurdle on the path to higher speeds. The horizontal vibration of the carriage wheels called hunting motion that occurs at high speed. If the hunting motion becomes severe, the wheels may slip off the rails and cause a serious accident. Tadashi Matsudaira was assigned to tackle this problem. To make the train faster, we had to minimize the hunting motion. We couldn't rest until we got it under control. Matsudara's solution was to improve the spring suspension. The springs on ordinary trains were designed to make the ride more comfortable, so they were designed strictly to absorb vertical oscillations. Matsudara's concept was to employ springs using air pressure that could check both vertical and horizontal vibration simultaneously. Mickey had drawn up plans for the train body and made a prototype. The beauty of the finished train took people's breath away. A 32-kilometer test course was constructed. The day of the trial run was approaching. Then one day, Mickey abruptly handed in his resignation. To the astonished staff, he said, I've put everything I know about engineering into that train. I have discharged my duty 
I felt confident leaving the rest up to the others. At last, on March the 30th, 1963, the trial run was held. The goal was a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. The moment had arrived for Japanese technology to rewrite the record books. As the man in charge of tests, Matsudara was on board. The train slowly rolled into motion. Inside, the engineers focused intently on their instruments. One hundred and fifty. The train steadily picked up speed. Tension was running high. Instruments were detecting the lateral vibration that they had feared. Should the trial run be halted, everyone looked at Matsudaira. But Matsudaira did not press the emergency stop button. He was convinced that the springs would absorb the vibration. And indeed, they did. That day, the train achieved its goal, 200 kilometers per hour. And it kept going faster and faster, clocking a top speed of 256 kph. It was the fastest train in the world. Japan's dream high-speed train was now a reality. For all the engineers who had vowed to use their expertise for peaceful purposes, this was the moment when their efforts were finally rewarded. I simply felt it was the result that our theory and calculations had led us to expect. Mickey watched the record-breaking achievement at home on TV. I was certainly glad that we'd done it, that we had a train capable of running at 256 kilometers per hour. In 1964, a year and a half after the record-breaking trial run, the Shinkansen went into service. The public were asked to propose a nickname for the train, and 560,000 suggestions came in from across the country. The world's fastest train offered a vision of a bright future for Japan. The most popular suggestion was Hikari, which means light. And that's how the Hikari Shinkansen got its start, speeding along the rails, a symbol of Japan's hopes for a great future. This is a hobby shop, and take a look at these glass cases. They're full of trains, all kinds of different trains, incredibly elaborate models and very expensive as well. And you can find Shinkansen models as well in here. Once you've got your train, of course, you've got to have some track to run it on. And they've got all kinds of different types of track here, including bridges and curves and all those things, points as well, of course. And on this side, they've got various kinds of grass and turf, different types of foliage, even some little cherry blossom trees here. Quite amazing. And how about this thing? You can rent this track layout by the hour and bring in your own trains to run on it. We've got two different kinds of Shinkansens here, plus the yellow inspection train as well. This really is quite fun. Train spotting is a quintessentially English hobby, but Japan has its train buffs equal to any countries in their obsessiveness. Some of them like to collect trains, some of them like to collect train-related merchandise. Others just like to ride the rails. There are some who even like to record the sounds of trains. And now, we're going to meet someone whose hobby is photographing Shinkansen trains.